What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Manora, and welcome everyone to the Roblox The Classic event. And this time we're here in a dusty trip to get a series of badges in the form of tokens and ticks that will help you unlock exclusive avatar items only available for this limited time event. So let's get the show on the road. As soon as you join a dusty trip, what you're going to want to do is go to the classic event and just join a lobby. I'm here with a friend to help me out. You can have up to four people in a server to make your life so super duper easy. All right, first things first, when you join the lobby, you'll be spawning into this house and on the table will be your first tick. So be sure to grab it before you leave the house. Also be sure to grab the gun on the desk in case you've never played Dusty Trip before because you're going to need a gun to fight people later in this game. All you need to do is build the car right there. It's a basic car, grab the engine and grab some gas, fill it up and turn on your car and away you go. But if you've played this game before, use your better cars, you will go faster and you can also use the engine glitch as well. Basically put the engine in your car, you put a little bit of gas and then you shoot the engine and you actually go faster than you're normally allowed to. But it's okay if all this is complicated, you can use the default car. You just have to make sure you refuel your gas whenever your car gets low. Now once you're all set, get into the car, close the door and let's start our engines. And what you need to do is just follow along the road all the way until you reach 2000 meters. In case you don't know where you're going just look at the top of your screen it will show you how far you are so there will be obstacles along the way you have to dodge them if you go too fast your car might flip and if it flips you might not be able to get back up so yeah just watch out for the rocks and watch out for the scenery you might not know when all of a sudden a whole little platform or a house is right on the road it kind of gets a little annoying but as long as you follow the pathway and get to 2,000 meters your first event starts oh it's a spooky basically 1x 1x 1x1 has hacked your server. Once this little cutscene's over, you get out of the car and go towards the two buildings because there will be these weird orbs that are just shooting bullets at you. All you need to do is absolutely shred them. Now, if this is your first run through, you probably only have access to the pistol, but if you have access to anything else like this minigun, you will be able to shred through them like crazy. One behind this tree and one at the top of the red building. I almost missed this one, but you'll know how many are left whenever you fight people because at the very very top it shows how many are left congratulations you finished your first event at 2000 meters meaning you get the first token and another badge oh but before you leave guys i almost forgot there are two ticks in this section there is one available inside the blue building and then go across to the red building but don't go into it go down here there is a ticks on the floor so grab two of them before you move to the next area also i highly recommend recommend here is where you want to stock up on food and guns because the pistol while okay you can upgrade to the AK-47 which is so much more powerful and grab any food that you can get here to refuel you gotta keep your eye out on the hunger bar if you get too hungry your health will go down quickly but with all that said and done go back to your car and head to the next checkpoint which is at 4,000 meters this checkpoint is fairly easy if you know how to drive your car all you need to do is stop to grab a ticks before you go onto the bridge itself. Drive around some obstacles, not too difficult. Get to the middle ring of the cross the heights to grab your second ticks and then drive the rest of the bridge and you're pretty much done. Getting past the bridge will award you a token, meaning you get your next big badge. Keep on driving another 2,000 meters and you'll get yourself to the next checkpoint at 6,000 meters. After a little bit of this hacking, you will see three pirate ships on the bridge in front of you. You have to go over each of them and shoot as many pirates as you can. I believe there's more than 10 pirates, so you only have to defeat the first 10 that you find. Some of them are on different floors, so go in all the different floors, as many as you can. Shoot them all up. You should have an AK by now, so it makes it a lot easier to defeat these pirates. But also, on the second ship ladies and gentlemen there is your next ticks don't forget this one if you're trying to get all 10 ticks it's right here it can be a little tricky to find this but it's on the second ship and here we are on the third ship just defeating what we need to do to get all the pirates eliminated which means you get yourself your third token and we can move on to the next checkpoint at 8,000 meters ah uh, once you get to 8,000 meters you go to a spooky house oh no and let's head into this house to get our next oh 
Jeez, these zombies coming out of nowhere. Yeah, the minigun's definitely gonna come in handy here. Again, this checkpoint's pretty straightforward. Kill as many zombies as you have to. Don't leave without getting the two ticks hidden in the map. One of them is available in the bedroom filled with stuff. It's on the shelf right there. Oh, and apparently there's a second wave where you have to kill the zombies outside. I had no idea, but when you're done that, then you should get your token. Don't forget your second ticks, which is located outside your house on the edge here. It's easily missable, so be sure to grab it before you leave for the next checkpoint. Hop back into your car because it's time to head to 10,000 meters where you will do the final boss battle here at the final checkpoint to get your final sets of ticks, tokens, and badges. Climb to the top of the towers because he actually spawns in lava that will kill you, I believe, while you do the boss battle. So be sure to get to this platform of the towers and then wait for the hacker man himself to come out and start a boss battle sequence. He'll be invisible for a while while he does a bunch of actions where you have to dodge first the laser beams. Run away from them because they do some damage. And then zombies will come out where you have to shoot them and kill them. And then after that one, the orbs will come out and will constantly shoot you. You can't destroy them. You just have to dodge their bullets. I didn't do a good job here. I kept getting hit because I didn't really know what to do. But after those three events, you will finally be able to beat him up. And if you have an AK-47, which you should have, and you have more than one person, you'll be able to shoot this guy to kingdom come right away. And there he's gone. With that, you should have all five tokens in a dusty trip, but there's still two ticks remaining. Both of them are located in the basement floors of each tower. So I'm jumping down here to grab one of them. Then I'm getting outside, going to the other building, into the basement, and grabbing the 10th and final ticks. And there you have it for our very first game of of the classic event, you should have all five tokens and 10 ticks, meaning that now, ladies and gentlemen, you have all 15 badges for a dusty trip. I'll catch you guys later in another game. For right now, this is Twisted Man signing off, and as always, stay snazzy.